anything for your senior night to be in this building against them? Because sometimes senior night's obviously against a different team. So. Yeah, um, you know, it's every every couple of years, I mean, the Carolina seniors get to get this game, so it definitely means a lot more to, to um, you know, to have the last game played in here against the biggest rival, in the biggest rival game in, in sports. Thank you. Uh, offense gets a lot of attention, but he's gotten a defensive award a few times now. What is it that makes him such a good defender, and especially as a freshman? Um, you know, he just asks, he just does what coach asks him to do. Um, you know, in terms of winning the award, you know, if you get to the right spots and do what coach asks you to do on defense, then you'll you'll grade out well. And you know, he's he's really mature in that. You know, it's it's not necessarily always easy for a guy to come in and. Uh, you know, learn know where to be and get to the right spots, but uh, that, that just shows how mature he is. Uh, the fact that he's winning so many defensive players the game awards. Um, freshmen always seem to be a little bit behind on defense. Why, why do you think that is? Are they just a matter of effort at this level or more advanced? Um, it, it, it all depends. Um, you know, because you come in out of high school and you, know, you can have a coach that teaches those things and you can have you can be ahead uh, mentally but I mean it, it does also take a little bit of effort you gotta you gotta be able to physically get there so I mean it takes a little bit more effort but you know everybody comes in um, you know with, with different uh, fundamentals I guess so um, you know it's, it's an adjustment for everybody but uh, you know they all of them have definitely picked it up pretty well. Given how Duke defends on the perimeter and how everyone's talking about Trey Jones being a, being a great point guard defender how much has Kobe developed in areas of like game management and be able to play more under control, which we, he'll need to do on Wednesday night? Yeah, man, he's he's a totally different player than we saw in November, December. Now, um, you know, um, definitely not knocking him, but November, December, um, you know, he would he would push the ball and then he would he would turn it over. Some, uh, sometimes it'd be a bad turnover, but now he doesn't do that. He he pushes the ball. He knows when to attack and when to get his shot or when to set up an offense. And, you know, he's grown tremendously in, in that regard. And the idea of some guys going to a game like this, they're really amped up. Freshmen can be really amped up and someone play too fast. But he needs to play fast because he's effective playing at that speed. How as a senior will you be able to kind of recognize and help him through those first few moments if you recognize maybe too fast here uh, when he needs to kind of pull back there and, and kind of balance out what, what he does well? Um, you know, that playing fast is what he does. Uh, I think he might have does it better than most guys that I played with. So I mean, you want him to play his game, but you also want him to, to be in control. But I mean, playing fast is what he does. And, um, you know, I, don't, I do not want to take him away from what he does. So I probably won't uh, say much to him. Um, you know, everybody's going to be amped up. Everybody's going to be a little bit nervous to start. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure he'll settle in early and, uh, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll be able to adjust to the Has game. he gotten to the point now where he's played enough and he's experienced enough where he'll recognize that pretty quickly and know the pullback if he has to yeah, back and Yeah, I, th I think so. He, I mean, he's a smart player. So he knows, he, he, he knows game situations and he knows what to, how to adjust them. Thanks, appreciate it.